back guys it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for Johnny Depp and his Empress Let, we haven't done it let's do an update about his health and how things are for his love life let's pull in his Empress here his Empress energy for his love Tell me about her energy, please. The Empress energy for Johnny. Oh, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Wanting to invest time, space, and love. I'm kind of getting maybe even the money that she may have. She could be saving something here. The Seven of Pentacles, this is kind of... That steady growth, that long-term outlook, maybe looking at what her best life may look like. The hard work is starting to pay off. The patience of wanting something for love is paying off. There's some type of reward coming through for being patient about a long-term outlook, about something that she's yearning or wanting in her life whatever it is it's starting to pay off let's see what about johnny how's johnny doing here tell me his energy please how's johnny's energy right now Ooh. okay so we have the death card but that does not mean that he's you know dead <laughs> you know it it just means that there's changes here. There may be endings and letting go of certain thoughts, ideas, or people. There's a rebirth here that some type of transformation to regenerate here. Regenerating, maybe, um, Uh, like a rebirth here so this may have to do with this health what's the combined energy the world yeah this is kind of like tying up loose ends here something that's completed he's more happy he's very charming getting on the right path to success here something that's going to be successful for him Okay, what does he want or doesn't want here in his life? Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, preparing for a union, a new phase. Wow. So that's very positive. So things are starting to come forward here. There might be some outdated thinking that maybe there's those, I think I said thoughts or just that conditioning, whatever has been put in their head, in his head, throughout his lifetime, those conditions and limitations, maybe replaying things over in his head about how he's affected other people. I feel like those are all beautiful things. In fact, I, I don't believe he's ever been nasty to anyone, especially in his industry. He's always been raved upon that he was always sweet and caring and nice. You might be looking at his life about some of the things that he's done, how he's treated people. I feel like he knows that has some type of impact when it comes to that knowing that that love for people is so important for Johnny and his empress what do they want and don't want in this relationship wanting to take that chance being strategic there's options not showing their hands. So this may be very unexpected um, 
I'm getting a meeting. This is going to be kind of really big here. Something that's going to be like, knock the socks off this empress. <laughs> like, not seeing this coming and it's going to come out of nowhere. Like, this is going to be so crazy. Not expecting this in the least. Having no idea, knowing that there's something coming in for all the hard work and the positive energy that maybe this Empress has been exuding, I want to say, that love, realizing how important that love is, that's all there is, is love. If that's what it's all about, is love. Everything else falls into place. The wealth and the health and everything else, and just having that love in your heart for everyone and anyone, being true to yourself and to others, and being loving to others. That's so, that's what there is. It's... It's a big message here, mirroring each other. There's that, that twin flame coming through here. <laughs> mirroring each other's souls. So one's going to learn something, the other one will be right there learning it as well, or shortly after, won't be long before they're both having that um, mirroring of each other's souls here reflecting on their wounds, doing that introspect. So they might be working on self, that healing. It's beautiful. Let's see what obstacles might be coming in for the... Give me um, what obstacles are coming in. Ah, that self-love. Somebody is feeling like they may have run out of time here. I'm afraid it's too late to take action. Feeling like they may have missed an opportunity here. I didn't act when I should have. That's self-love. But I feel like there was some self-love that needed to be had here. And this may be this empress feeling like, you know... I'm supposed to be getting all these things coming in and maybe feeling like she missed it somehow. It could be for him as well, feeling like time is an issue for him now. Feeling like missed an opportunity because of his health issues now. But on the same hand, I'm feeling like, no, that's... No, there's, there's more here. This is still just tying up those loose ends. Now, this could be a will that we're talking about here. I feel like this may be the mindset at first. Tell me what else for Johnny and Empress, please, with Empress. Forgiveness. I'm struggling to get over the past. Rightfully so. I mean, he's definitely been through it. And she may have experienced quite a lot of the same things. Only because if they are twin flames, they're going to have a lot of the similar uh, things happen. Where they both have had that type of... Where maybe how they grew up. Maybe what they encountered for love. Could be the people that they met, could be the people, how they were treated, how they treated others. I failed to give you what you needed. Mm. And I feel like this isn't anyone from the past. I feel like this is for his empress now. But I feel like it's never too late. And doing that is going to give that closure that may be needed here. She may go and help him, look after him through whatever illness, if he is having that. I feel like, I don't even want to say that. Um, how do I put that? 
Ay, ay, ay. Um. <laughs> changing changes for the ending something that needs to be let go of um maybe this feeling of shoulda woulda coulda and just do it anyway just do it anyway needing that self-love there there's healing what's on the bottom of the deck yeah there's a soul tie they're always going to be connected to this empress he's going to be connected she's going to be connected to him i feel like whatever this is uh denying this connection is where this is going wrong it's the mindset here limited mindset some type of conditioning they both may be feeling these. It might be too late. I, I'm not getting what I needed, but I'm looking at that long term. I'm looking at my best life and how come it hasn't come in yet? And I'm getting... It's about being in the here and the now. Doesn't matter what coulda, shoulda, woulda been. It's what can I do now? What, what am I going to do now? Now, people all are looking at their foundations of all their relationships, whether or not they serve their, their highest or greatest good, whether they're being having that safe, loving, and inspiring type of relationship with the people around them. And that, that's still that Saturn is in retrograde up until November 9th. So I feel like, well, let's look at the outcome here and then we'll look at the connection, the soul connection. Wow, this is a soulmate. Uh -huh. And keeping the open mind, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. I feel like whatever, there might be things that needed to change about the lifestyle that maybe he lived. Maybe about some of the things that needed to change to improve his health. He may feel it's too late for that. And it's no, there is ne it's never too late. There's that self-love that can heal that healing and forgiving self. Let's see. Attraction. There's definitely attraction when it comes to the two of them. I feel like there's that very romantic love going on here yeah look at the chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here that's that intense soul connection of that um twin flame it's that yearning for each other those similar experiences and values, pushing each other to do better. It, they equally affect one another um, through telepathy is kind of what I'm getting here, even though that isn't here yet. Let's see, get me one more for the outcome, please, for the outcome for Johnny and his Empress unrequited love there's not enough love and attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going i feel like maybe one has given up that it's too late maybe because he might be sick that there's some type of ending and it's not fair to his empress but i feel like he needs that love and taken care of or having somebody in his corner somebody that's going to be there like he's never had before somebody that wants to love him unconditionally what's on the bottom of the deck love yourself first there's that self-love again makes yourself more romantically attractive Well, let's look at the soul connection, then we'll do the tarot and after tarot. 
Tell me about when these two hearts meet, the soul connection between the Empress and Johnny, please. <laughs> Didn't I say telepathy? Even though it wasn't here, it is now. Close soul connections are harmoniously synchronized, creating moments of telepathy. Now, these two may be oh, far away from one another, but still able to connect through this telepathy. Or when they meet each other, they're going to have something of uh, knowing about the other and how the other one is feeling. They're just going to have that knowing. Ying and yang, the twin flame. Didn't I say twin flame as well? They contain an aspect of each other's character within themselves. And wow, the universe is guiding this. Is guiding you to that special person. Allow everything to take its natural course. Wow. So this is all being orchestrated through spirit. And I feel like despite what Johnny is feeling at this moment about feeling like that missed opportunity and it's not fair to bring this person in now that he's sick, yada, 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 what if I die, what if, what if, what if. And it's about loving self, forgiving self, forgiving other people, maybe struggling to forgive when it comes to his past which I can understand. There was a lot of deceit there. But regardless of the deceit, it's more for self to be able to put that baggage down and move forward, right? For his own uh, sense of well-being, right? Can I get two more, please? And then we'll look at the bottom of the deck. Oh, there's a two for Ah, this may have been, look at this, it's just a, des wow, this is a divine soul counterpart. It is a miraculous event that begins when you least expect it. That's what, I, remember I was just saying about this is going to knock the socks off of this empress? Like, bam, hello, <laughs> there it is right there. I know what I was feeling, and that's what's coming in here. It's when she least expects it, and it's gonna knock her socks off. She's not gonna, she's not gonna see this coming at all. There is a past life connection here. We reunite with our loved ones over and over again through many different lives, and I feel like whether it's through family or through love connections. Um, these two may have been finding each other every lifetime and come into union. Or there may be times that they don't, but this lifetime, they're, they're meant to. Spirit's going to try to orchestrate the two of them together. Yeah, cherish your relationship. And I feel in the past, he may have never felt that type of love. And this is a love that is going to be something he's never experienced. Neither one of them has. And up until they meet one another, that soul tie. And with that soul tie, it may be a someone with a pet that they meet through or something to do with a pet. Because usually soul ties have something to do with someone who owns a pet or a pet of some sort <laughs> and with that past life soulmate this is very sexual chemistry coming together here with soulmate and the um <laughs> the divine union like this is like wowzers like this is beyond 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 <laughs> Like, seriously, beyond anything, anyone I feel really has, has ever felt on earth when it comes to a connection in love. Tell me about the world. This is a new beginning here because something has to end for something new to come in. 
And I feel like with the world there, that's signifying that exactly it. And with the death card, it does not necessarily mean somebody's going to die. It could be a rebirth here of wanting to have that love. Look at that page of cups. There's that offer. Now, it's a small offer to see that give and take. Is there going to be that give and take? And I feel like he's gone through a lot of lessons where he's going to know if this is genuine or not. Um, after going through what he went through, I feel, yeah, that <laughs> four of cups, that uh, lacking in that equal give and take when it came to the past. Somebody maybe could have been some type of contempt or dissatisfaction when it came to love for him. I and mean, well, we kind of know what that was all about. So tell me about the mirroring between these two with the Empress and the Emperor. So somebody may be bored waiting for this love offer to come in. And this is where she's going to have that come through really unexpectedly. Look at that, the wheel with the mirroring. They're both having things go around in their favor here. This is, this is like divine timing coming through here with the wheel of fortune. These are changes and cycles and faded, unexpected. There's that unexpectancy here that unexpected event, some type of luck, being able to adapt to it. This is that ascending, preparing for this union and union is here. So it's coming in quite quickly, I'm feeling, quicker than I thought it would. I felt this was going to be a while yet, but this is actually gonna be quite soon, I'm getting. Let me see here if I was to have a look at the four of cups. I'm feeling that's okay. Seven pentacles and the death card. Mm. Pluto, Scorpio, water. It's going to be. It's going to be in Scorpio season. The beginning of November, and that's that's what we're at right now, November. So it could be any time this Scorpio season here up until November 22nd. So within this month, I knew it. I felt it. I, it was soon. I could feel that it was going to be soon. Between November and July is kind of what I'm getting. Okay, so tell me about the soul tie. Oh, we got a bit of a story here. Temperance, yeah, somebody's waiting. Somebody's been waiting. I'm feeling like that um, adventure, and this is Sagittarius energy, right? That journey, being in the flow, being in the now is kind of what I'm getting. Once they're both in the now and not worrying about coulda, woulda, shoulda, didn't, and what's coming, it's about what's happening right now, that harmony and being in peace with their life purpose and what they're meant to be doing. I feel like this is when everything's going to transpire. Four of Swords, that healing is still there. About that heartbreak, now this could have been from both have been through it. I feel like in my readings prior to this for Johnny, when it talked about the Empress, she went through her own issues with somebody and he was going through his own issues and going through court and all that crap. So I feel like this is um, all healing. This is, this is going to take time is kind of what I'm getting. But I feel like with Johnny, he's especially Johnny, maybe even his Empress, the there's not going to be that reaction like everybody losing their mind. They're calm, cool, and collected. Regardless, they're, they don't get ruffled feathers. They're more likely to, 
walk away from it than deal with that kind of energy. I feel like they know what they should put their energy into and what not to when it comes to this. I feel like it's going to be no shouting. It's going to be a very um, beautiful communication between the two that respect for one another. Huh. There's that loving themselves first. Just the unrequited love. King of Pentacles. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> this is, um, I'm kind of getting the unrequited love about somebody feeling more superior than the other. Maybe because they have security, maybe not, not wanting that type of love and feeling where one is more important than the other. It has to be that love that is felt from both. That one isn't more important than the other, that they're both equally as important with that love. Tell me about the attraction. Three of Cups. This is a lot of love pouring into one big cup. It's like two cups pouring into one big cup here. They're both pouring into the love cup for each other. It has to be that equal amount of love coming in from the both of them for this love to come forward the way it's meant to. That attraction. Tell me about the love yourself first here. Two of Wands. That individual success, okay? Loving and not losing your identity within this relationship for this Empress and for Johnny. Tell me about the soulmate. Two of Swords is making that choice. Somebody has to make some type of choice here whether they're going to move forward. I feel like it will happen. Tell me about the past lives, the cherish, and the union. A hangman. Yeah. Taking time to do the work, the introspect, the healing. I'm getting that I'm not going to be rushed into anything. I'm going to take the time that I need. I'm going to pause and reflect as much as I need to, to to gain that awareness, gain that new perspective when it comes to this divine love. And hang man, somebody may have been pulled back from moving forward on purpose. This is the universe. This is getting that connection to be where it needs to be for this to come through. Tell me yeah, <laughs> Spirit says that's the truth. Having that, those true intentions, having the speaking the truth, I feel, is really important here. All right, so tell me about intuition here. So what is Johnny's intuition saying to him? Five of Swords, ooh. Wanting to win at all costs. I feel like he's, his intuition, he may not be ready. He might be arguing with self. And I, what I mean by that is that this isn't fair to this person. I'm not well or 
It might be ego here about being looked after. It's supposed to be the other way around. That's just, but that's, that's that outdating, outdated thinking though, right? What does your person feel? Ooh, ton of swords. Been betrayed. I feel like there might be some type of defeat or deep wounds here on both sides. There's that fear I'm getting. And that could be false evidence appearing real, right? Denying an issue, refusing to see or trusting your intuition that you're going to make the right choice. And I feel like this, you're both, they're both in the swords here. They're both when it comes to maybe uh, communication or thoughts. It, it has to do with, I'm feeling more thoughts. But this is coming to an end here. And it looks like maybe Johnny has a little ways to go to get to the 10. So his Empress may have already uh, been healing for a bit, where he's needing to heal a bit more here when it comes to this. The unrequited love I'm kind of getting here as well could have been the past person with this Ten of Swords. That I feel like just wasn't, this person thought they were much more than the Empress, that this person was above the Empress. And it's funny because I'm feeling she's the empress, and yet this is just a king, right? He's not even the emperor. And I feel like this may not have been Johnny at all. This may be someone else having to do with her past. This person may be still trying to come into her energy, and she is not likely to forget what this person, that she doesn't need to be with this person. This person isn't giving what she needs or wants in her life for the good. Okay, let me see what's going to happen after Tarot here. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> This person is becoming, um, I feel like, very abundant now. This could be in love. This could be in money. This could be in self-love. It could be just about whatever this empress deems as important in her life. Being very successful. Could be material success. I mean, the queen of... Pentacles is all about that material success, but it also could be that nurturing. Oh, I'm going to have to pause. Hang on. Okay, so what hit the floor here? <laughs> all right, so um, where was I? Whatever she felt was important here was the success. And it could be just about love in general, that nurturing and loving, being successful in all areas, or at least in certain areas. Okay, so we have somebody not really, well, somebody's manifesting things, but not ready to take that leap yet, and it's still yet to drink that self-love but i don't i'm not reading them in the in the uh reversed so this is manifesting this to come in maybe being a little more cautious than before and drinking that self-love that knight of cups is that romantic person that wants to wine dine and i feel like this is him he is wanting that and manifesting it regardless of whether he realizes it or not. <laughs> so, or this is her manifesting this to come in. All right. <laughs> I feel like she's manifesting somebody that is emotionally available. So this may be something he needs to still do is 
doing that self-love still. All right, what about the wheel? Okay, so this is all about picking the right cup, and I feel like with this mirroring, there's just no doubt of who this person is to him when he meets her. Tell me about the temperance, please. Page of Swords. He could be watching her. If he is watching on social media, or maybe she has a channel, or is an influencer, or maybe even just doing a TikTok, whatever, seeing that other people are seeing this person as well. Yeah, wanting to move forward towards this person. Now, it's only about the celebration. Yeah, <laughs> things are coming uh, together like orchestrated. Um, Maybe things coming full circle is kind of what I'm getting there with that. What's the two of swords? We have two, two, three. That might be a number to look up for your angel numbers. We have the queen of swords. So this may be that they're both wanting some type of truth here, communicating, being guarded because of the past, yet still being true to themselves about wanting that love. I feel like they both want to find love, but it has to be a love that they both <laughs> is right for them. That has to be full of truth and the right, everything's got to fit in like puzzle pieces. Like they all have to fit properly before I move forward kind of energy is kind of what I'm getting here. It's like they're, they're going to have this knowing that this is right. And I feel like that's that telepathy. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. <laughs> this is totally unexpected. Um, with the Ace of Swords, this is like mental clarity. This is success. This is like a new idea or a breakthrough here. It's some type of truth. And with that tower, this is life changing moments coming in here. Okay. So we're looking at a sudden change. This is not going to be somebody sees this coming. This is that knocking this woman's socks off. This is going to be so unexpected. And this is <laughs> unbelievably um, sudden. Needing to adapt, accepting this change, having the courage. This has to do with an awakening here. Awakening their soul. For this union, maybe this is when they, their hearts open towards love once again. It's when this connection kind of comes in. I feel like he makes, she may make him feel a certain type of way that this could be his person. What's the hangman? Wow, look at the marriage cards coming out and somebody that's in touch with their emotional side their emotional balance here this is beautiful pouring in there's the ships out there i feel like this is definitely with the king of cups that balance being compassionate and generous that's sensitive and understanding. And the marriage card. This is about <clears throat> tradition. The Hierophant. This is Taurus energy. It's about a purpose. What's socially acceptable or values, religious factors or spiritual factors. Having certain traditions. These are all things that are 
life changing. Wow. Somebody is showing up with the big cup here, pouring it into. I feel like that. I really like this card. This is really. Look at the sun. The sun's on the bottom of the deck, but this is two cups pouring into one big cup of love. Like, this is teamwork. This is the dream. This is the happiest card there is in the deck. With the sun, this is positive in all areas of your life. Money, love, work, and health. Nothing to hide. Pure joy. Just life improves for both. Wow. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Let's look at your intuition now, Johnny. Now that this is after tarot. Yeah, that page of cups. <laughs> Wanting to give that offer. Okay. And what about the Ten of Swords? How is the Empress feeling about this? Ah, healing this. There's hope and having faith here with the star. This is guidance, maybe being guided from the universe. This is all coming together. This is maybe even public recognition. <laughs> this is healing. This is Aquarius energy here. We have the tower, which is Mars energy, how dealing with life. The Hierophant here, which is Taurus. We have, who else? We have the Magician here and the Fool. So it's Uranus and Mercury energy. We have the Wheel of Fortune, which is Jupiter energy. What else do I see here? The Temperance card, which is Sagittarius energy. Wow, the world card, which is Saturn energy. And we have the death card here too, which is Scorpio energy. Wow. This is beautiful. I mean, they are going to come together and it's going to be so unexpected for this Empress. She's not going to know what hit her. It's going to be so sudden and it's, it's just going to be like, Oh. <laughs> wow, <laughs> uh, pinch me, I, I, is this really happening, you know, like, just cannot believe her luck that this is happening. This is beautiful, though. There's going to be a marriage here. There is chemistry and attraction. This is a soulmate, a divine love. This is a union of a lifetime I'm kind of getting here. So much Wheel of Fortune coming out twice. So I feel like it's kind of turning for the both of them in the right direction. Somebody may have been held back at one point here only because someone needed to catch up for healing, I'm feeling. So now that that's starting to transpire here, I feel like it's it's within this next month. It's coming in really fast that somebody's going to make a decision here about having this come forward, having this work out. Oh, this is so beautiful. Somebody's a very lucky lady. <laughs> the Empress for Joni. They're both ascending here to that level of love where this is going to align. All right, guys, that's what I have for Johnny and his Empress. Please like, share, and subscribe. Become part of the Divine Oracle Tribe. And if you'd like to donate, you can in the description box below, in the PayPal account, or through the Super Thanks. And of course, I thank you, thank you, and thank you. <laughs> All of the proceeds for the... Um, Donations go back into the channel, so I end up getting more um, 
cards and if there's certain cards that you'd like to see on the channel that you'd like me to use uh you can comment in the comment section i try to read those as much as i can and yeah i'll try to incorporate what i can for you all right you guys take care stay blessed and we'll see you next time all right later